Hello everyone and welcome to another Space Engineers video. I kind of ran out of time for making the time lapse this week. So what I thought I'd do is instead of spending the three hours it would take to do the time lapse, is actually take you along in a full normal speed build. There we go. Slight lag there. So instead of doing the time lapse thing, I'm going to just kind of talk through what I'm doing at the time. Which is going to be a lot harder than doing the time loss, because normally I put on music and I, I sit there and stare at it for a very, very long time. And talking during this is going to be quite difficult. And keeping there's probably going to be a lot of silence in the video, just because I'm thinking about something instead of actually saying something. So the first thing is we're going to be cutting this back. There's never, it was never my intention to keep this as a weird plane here. It was actually supposed to kind of come to the head of the bridge kind of area. So I don't know how I want to terminate the bottom. It's going to be one of those things we probably sit there and stare at a lot. Um, also, in the time lapse, I can do a lot more mistakes without it actually showing up on camera. What am I doing? I can just control X that. And that. So hopefully this will be a little bit entertaining. Doesn't have to be totally entertaining. Right, okay. Also, I'm not convinced on that window. I have a lot of weird bits on this. Hmm. So I want to... Actually, here, here's what we can do. Which this will probably not work. But we can try... Um, was it that one and that one? If we do, no, it's the, that's the that's the two by. We need the one by. Is it, is it that one? I think it is. I think is this the one that lies to you? Well, it's also not what we need. That's big. That's the five by. Where is the? This is what makes it so difficult when there are. Yeah, that's the one by. When there are five different mods that do very similar. Oh, because the thing's that big. I could turn this into a small blocks bit instead of using a large window. But currently, I would have to use the. If I wanted to put blocks here, I need to use the inside. So I need to put them here, which is a option, but not a good one. Just because you can't you know, make it flush. Not that one, that one. So I can't make it angled with this thing. Even if I used a two, it would still have gaps. So I don't think that's going to stay. I do like having this area jutting out from the rest of it. I also think I'm going to pull this area back. Actually, what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take this entire area. Instead of continuing the same angle, we're actually going to make the angle much sharper. That's the wrong bit. That is the wrong angle. I hate that the angle or the turning is based on which way you're looking. That's how it started changing in a different direction. So as long as you keep the same direction of vision, you will actually continue turning it with the same buttons. But once you once you like get into a area, so if I hit right here, if I hit end. It'll turn that way, but if I hit over here and hit end, yeah, it's turning in different directions. Same button. Very frustrating. So you have to memorize which direction from the camera instead of just repeating the pattern. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Does not look as good as I hoped it would. Okay, 
we'll leave it for now. Cause it, I don't. It looks good, but it also looks terrible at the same time, and I don't know how that works. Um, let's see. This world is starting to get really laggy with all this junk around. Also needs some way to terminate these shapes. In a good way. Could you not block out the sun? Um, maybe, maybe if I do a really annoying, and by annoying, I mean very not detailed, can I just slant this way? And then again, I hit that button. Keep trying to hit number tool one, which is the block I'm already using. If I just do that, I don't know if that's the correct amount of blocks. Looks like it is. Look at that. Didn't even try. Um, then what we do... Again, blocking out the sun. Nope, that's the wrong one. Thank you. I always have to go through all three of the buttons. Then we take this and angle it right. Let's see, can we get in here? Could we place the card? Nope. I'm so glad symmetry is actually on, and I didn't forget this time. That does that. That bottom bit's gonna be really hard to do this with, though, because it's an it's a curve with three different angles. Fun. So this comes across. Like this. Other way with that, it's fine. And then we do this. I'm gonna say that a lot during this video. This, that, that stuff, because talking through my ideas is a much more visual process than a explaining. Like it basically, if I tried to explain it, it'd just be saying which block I'm dragging in which direction. That looks hideous. I don't know if it looks hideous in a good way, though. I really don't like this bump here. Okay, so here, here's my thought here. Instead of making this a bump, make it a base so take this go there and take this and go there um, there and put like a little detail bit there and here That's not bad. That's actually not bad. I want to do another one. Here. It actually goes up. And this should hopefully kind of beat it in a bit. I don't like that one. Um. Maybe 
leave it there for now. It does look like it's just gonna paste it on there. That looks bad. We'll read it down that one later. We have to move on to something else. Um, yeah, that looks bad. Uh, mostly because it's very detailed and the rest of the ship isn't that detailed. So, so let's try and copy. That's not six, is it? No, it's the four. Let's get the actual parts we need down here. Um, ramps, we need the four. That's not what's over there, is it? It is. Okay, so we need this. So for now, I'm going to try and recreate this. Oh, it does actually line up. Okay. So I'll put a block here. Oh no. Okay, I know what I did. Um, that's gonna actually be harder than I th thought. So how many blocks does this have to go in? One, two, three, four. So we need to take this back. I think it's th three. I always counted four, but I think it's three. One, two, three. There. Okay, so it should now. That this still gets placed at the same thing. And then we should be able to meet them together. This this would all be alleviated in this. If I were to oh, it was far. See? See this is this is the stuff that wouldn't show up in the thing as much because it's sped up by 300%. Which I much enjoy. Like when I say that I enjoy doing these videos, I actually mean it. I'm looking forward to and dreading when we actually get to a point where we're detailing this more and that's too low. How? No, I'm just an idiot. It's fine. Absolutely. There we go. So that's the corner we have to make with this. And make it look not stupid. And we're already at 13 minutes. I'm not going to cut down this video because this is kind of what it's here for. Is just showing you like a real time what the heck goes on while I'm building. One, because I thought it'd be kind of an interesting look into the build. And also, I didn't have enough time to do the whole time-lapsing thing, but like I said earlier, it takes about three hours. I'm not sure how to do this. Like, there's obviously no way I can make this a smooth curve. I would have to... I have to do a couple things. Let's see. So this would actually have to... Oh, this is not many of them. Let's go with those for that and for that. Actually, wait, I think I just saw that. Wait, that's a six. No, they're not in line. Great. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. fun. Let's just four, four, four. Let's just do those four. Was it do we need that? Oh, but we can't do a straight across either. Because we need to step it just like it's stepped here. So it'd be four, two, one, two, four. Okay, let's try that. As I'm saying that, I actually have no idea how to actually accomplish that. Let's give ourselves a plane to work with. 
get rid of this useless bit. So it'd be... Hello? Oh, it's there. It's right there. Let's technically make that block as well. So it would be... Three... Two... So it'd be that. Obviously these being slants. Well, that one would be a perfect slant, and these would be... So here's the problem I'm going to run into. I don't have a 4x2 slant. I would need a 4x4 four four slant. Which I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. Yeah. There's a 2x2. Two two. It doesn't have a double 4. So, alternatively, we would normally do... Why is that 4? That scares me. Alternatively, what we would do is take this, drag it up by 3. Hang now. Thank you. Drag that up by 3, and then we would go back to... Except not because we need to use this. I'm sure there are plenty of people that can visualize shapes way better than I can. They would be much better at making armor shapes. And I would love to know who they are. <laughs> so that would then lead into that technically technically yes that would lead into that and then we right, not go that way and that way and then we do that so far not hating not hating on that at all um, and then we have this bit to do, which this bit should actually be relatively simple. It should actually be the same thing. If this actually works, I will be very impressed. Because I've never done a shape like this before. And if you're wondering how I get the blank texture, that's the wrong bit. It's actually the paint style of the clean, clean armor. So for some reason, how this modder did it is he used the scratch maps for the decals, which I hope he never updates because I'm actually using it into the great effect to get a clean armor like a perfectly clean armor uh be this one and then that i really like this shape actually <laughs> i know it's like it's supposed to contrast it but it's also supposed to look very boaty like nautical boat like Actually, really liking it. Um, okay. So now we have. Oh, what are we gonna do here, though? We can't. This is gonna get interesting. And by interesting, I mean really hard. Let's see. So, is it slope? Slope. Corner. Anti-slope, inverted corner. That's the wrong direction. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong block. That, uh, no. That. That.
no. We're right. We're right the other side. It's bad. Okay. Um. Yes, this is technically correct. So now we flip this this way. This is gonna get stupid. Because this does not lead into this. Correct, but wrong. Um, yeah, they're plain. Okay, so actually, actually, I know what this needs. This actually needs one of the other ones. This actually does need this. Because we are now trying to do a two by two slant. There, there, and the inverse of it. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, so here is the biggest issue is that this is not fixable at all. Um. There's just absolutely no way that this this fixes. Uh, I don't think this piece has any. No, two by two is as far as it goes out. Um, I don't think anyone has a four by four. It would be nice, but I don't think that anyone has the patience to actually code in every single dimension of slope. So, we're going to leave it here for now. I kind of don't like from here down. This kind of looks a bit odd. But remember, it's a spaceship. And doesn't have to land on it. That being said, I don't think I ever designed or thought of landing gear on this thing. So it's very... I have no idea what just turned on. Okay. Overall, I'm happy with moving forward. Just gonna block that up there. So, one of the things that I've noticed while building this is I'm building the insides with a lot more space, which means we can expand the internal design of this. Um. We also have a lot more space for, what, not for, but the, this hole, I mean. I don't know if we drop this down or put this up somehow. That'll be in the next kind of phase of building. So more detailed building. Definitely very much enjoy. Right, I forgot I copy pasted this up there. That's gonna be interesting. So I need to figure out what to do with all of this empty space. If you guys know what I should do with this empty space, if you guys got any ideas, let me know in the comments because we have so much space. This was supposed to be a medium to small hauler with this little elevator. It got much bigger. I didn't mean for it to get bigger. So anyway, that is where we're gonna leave the video for this week. I will hopefully have a nice and fun time lapse for you next week. Assuming I don't get a headache when I'm supposed to be recording. And I definitely enjoyed making this, so I hope to see you in the next video. Bye everyone.